Oh my god! What the hell? Oh we're my god. Go. We're, we're gonna have to go, it's on fire. Oh, these people. Oh my god. Look at this. Detroit is on fire. Detroit is on fire. Detroit is on fire. This oh my like god. Do you feel the heat? Yeah. We begin with breaking news as we come on the air on the west tonight. A wildfire burning in San Bernardino County, east of Los Angeles. And take a look at this. Hundreds of acres burning, then jumping the freeway. Brush fire swept right over the main highway connecting Las Vegas with LA. The road was packed with weekend travelers and it left hundreds of people stranded. About 70 vehicles were abandoned and multiple cars and trucks were torched. It was a fast moving brush fire that overtook the freeway and they jumped the freeway and caught, you know, multiple cars on fires as well as trucks. There were Approximately over 20 cars that were totally destroyed and 10 more that were damaged. some live pictures coming us into us from Athens. This is of a huge fire on the east side of the Greek capital. We're being told that 35 fighters are tackling the blaze. Apparently it had spread very quickly because of high winds. This is the Imitos mountain and it's very near. You can't quite see the scale of it there, but you can almost see it encroaching onto very densely populated areas. Good evening, and it's great to start another week with you. And we begin tonight with two major weather headlines. First, a massive heat wave already stretching across much of this country, about to scorch the east, too. Here is the map at this hour with the humidity, that heat index, well above triple digits from St. Louis to Atlanta in the next 24 hours, then Philly up through New York and New England. While in the west at this hour, 23 fires across five states, one of the largest outside Sacramento tonight. Firefighters capturing these images from the ground. Air tankers fighting the giant wildfire from above. The fire shooting up against the night sky overnight. Firefighters injured. Evacuations underway this evening. Hundreds of homes at risk. The emergency services are at full stretch in two areas of France as they battle wildfires threatening to engulf homes and livelihoods. 
The country's largest summer forest fire to date has taken hold here near Bordeaux. No one has been injured and there's no damage to property. That's not the case in Fréjus on the Côte d'Azur, however, where 33 static caravans have been destroyed and 10,000 holidaymakers moved to safety. French President Francois Hollande is in the region to help rally the emergency crews who are working flat out. About 15 centimetres of snow fell in central New South Wales towns, including the Blue Mountains west of Sydney. Commuters are bearing lots of skin in Western Europe and authorities in countries like France are reaching out to vulnerable populations as the region sweats over unusually hot summer weather. A mass of hot air moving north from Africa has driven up temperatures in Spain, Portugal, Britain, and France in recent days. Temperatures in Paris were expected to hit 39 degrees Celsius, 102 Fahrenheit. Bonjour à tous. Donc nous sommes le samedi Samedi 4 juillet 2015, 14h49, et il fait 39 degrés. Southwest France saw temperatures reaching 42C, 107F, and Cordoba in southern Spain recorded nearly 44C, 111F. In Britain, mercury was forecast to hit 34C Wednesday in a one-day heat wave.
made landfall in the late hours of July 16th, bringing with it heavy rain and up to 115 mile per hour winds. Now Tokyo is experiencing serious flooding. Japan's meteorological agency warns some locations across the country could see up to three feet of rainfall. According to local media, both reported deaths occurred in Hyogo Prefecture near Kobe. One missing person is also feared dead after being swept away in a swollen canal just north of Tokyo. In Citrus County, so big it actually swallowed a large truck. The workers nearby incredibly making it out okay. engulfed parts of Iran. Winds of up to 80 kilometers per hour have swept through northern, central and western regions, stirring up sandstorms followed by rain and thunder. from the sky.
good uh, DOT out here, the shad flies. It's like ice on this bridge. Oh, hurry! Is this a 1046 or a 1050? Oh my god! Oh! This summer, the Crimea is playing host to unwelcome visitors. Locusts, Ukraine's most famous tourist region, has been invaded by millions of insects, and locals are definitely not pleased to see them. The plague of locusts threatens to destroy the area's entire agricultural output. They've already spread over 6,000 hectares of farmland, prompting the Crimean government to declare a state of emergency in three districts. Crop specialists are worried. Anatoly Kosia says up to 15 tons of pesticide are needed to stop the invasion. He says if action's not taken now, it's going to be a long, hungry winter because the locusts are simply destroying the fields. A locust invasion of biblical proportions has descended upon Israel after millions of the insects flew in from Egypt, darkening skies and threatening to destroy crops in the southern part of the country. 